Hey everyone, welcome back to Jack Mox. Um, quick confession time. I'm sorry that I have not put a video out in such a long time. I, I like the Destiny mock, it's just the camera was kind of yucky and it just didn't like, it just, it just didn't look good at all. So what I want to do is I want to bring you guys an amazing update for all the time that I have been accent, I'm sorry, adjacent to the videos. So what I want to do is I just want to bring you all an amazing video and what Helm's Deep the, should really be to you all. Legos is my passion. It's been my passion since I was maybe five years old. I've been, I remember my first Lego set to the point where right now I'm building almost a 75,000 piece model. So there's a big difference in how, in, in how it looks and my techniques. So I'm going to bring you all an amazing update with more fast builds with more good pictures of Helm Steve. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you all an amazing update every Wednesday. I uh, can't give a specific time. I'm going to try and do it before 9 o'clock each night. So somewhere between sunrise to 9 o'clock each night. That's the best I can do because my schedule can be iffy because of school and studying. If it's not, if I'm not able to do an update Wednesdays, it's because I either have a huge test coming up that I cannot avoid or else I'm busted or I'm sick because if you're sick you don't want to build Legos so I'm going to bring you all like I said an amazing update but I want you to subscribe first and the main reason I want you to subscribe is because I do not want you to miss out on anything that this model has to offer I feel like some Lego models are totally um, underrated people don't give them enough credit because like you may look at like a, a YouTube video of a um, scarif or maybe a Coruscant or like maybe an, another castle and it will like it will look amazing if you're actually there but on camera it's horrible and like no one subscribes to that channel no one leaves a like but in person that mock has been so much time has been dedicated to it it's amazing so what I want to do is bring you all an amazing update that can show such an amazing model. So let's get on with it. Okay, so everyone for the big U-shaped um, part back here, or the sh main stronghold, I'm going to um, build a little wall that will cover up all this because I want to, this to look like Joker built it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I'm using these headlight bricks, putting them randomly, and then I'm going to build a rock structure like I did over here. I'm sorry about the light, it's kind of late and I'm building away, so um, just help me um, and have some patience, and I will bring you guys an awesome update. Just bear with me. Okay, for this uh, speed build, as I call it, first I'm going to explain a speed build first, and then I'll explain some other things. So a speed build is basically you're building, you're, you're just videotaping yourself build, and then, um, and then basically... From there on, you just speed up the video, and that's what I'm doing. Um, I just have one regret for this video. You just can't really see my hands really well. That's It's the best I could do, though. But I'm going to position another speed build at the almost to the end of the video. So that's what I'm kind of up to. But I'm explaining some main characteristics of a speed build. So every builder should watch himself do a speed build because it's just not only it's good for them to watch but it's fun to watch it's good for them to watch mainly because they can see their techniques so if they make a mistake or flaw or if i make a mistake and flaw in my lego model i could slow the video down and i could see what went wrong what did i do wrong did i put a piece wrong did i use the wrong piece etc so sometimes even for young builders it's good for them to um, videotape themselves so that when they're building their first model, if they have a problem and they don't know how to fix it, they can go back and see what they did. So I recommend that every young Lego builder and even advanced professionals such as I do this because it develops habit into making less and less mistakes. 
which is something that every builder should get more and more used to is just making less mistakes and building a lot more. So I'm going to stop speaking for a minute and I'm going to let you guys just watch the speed build. Hey everyone, so the fast motion that you just saw, this is the this is one of the two pieces of rock work I made. So, I've been extremely busy. As you can see, my Lego room is kind of a mess, but that means the builder is at work, as I call it. So, it's kind of late, but what I wanted to show you all is I've been looking through my tub of Legos, and I found all these pieces for Home Steve. I estimate maybe this is about 500 pieces, maybe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those all onto Helm's Deep. I'm not going to do um, a fast motion, just mainly because it is dark, but I'm still going to do some videos on what's kind of cooking um, and such. So let's go on with it. Okay, for right here, I am building a little bit of a rocky ledge that's going to go over the mine shaft to cover up those random uh, joker pieces, as I, as I like to call them, because they look like joker painted it. So, But you may call it colorful or uh, stick-out bricks, but that's just what I call them for fun. Um, the other thing I want to point out is I always have a disconnector. Those are those orange pieces right there. Always have one of those when you're building because they are more handy than people think. So, yes. Okay, guys. So, it's morning and here's what it looks like put on. Oh, my gosh. It looks awesome. It fits in perfectly. Sorry. It's the... There we are. See, it fits in perfectly with all the other rock. I just got to do right here and fill in this gap. Do right there and some other tinkering things. But that, but this is also done on the side and just fill in some of that. And right here, and basically, and just do along the side. And basically, I just got to start filling in right here and then rebuild this because I took it down to um, be able to reach in like this because see, my hand would hit it. So I took it down because of that main reason. So basically, all around here. It's rock work that's being held together by studs on the side or headlight bricks as they're called. I don't have any on me right now, but if you but most people know what a headlight brick is if you're a Lego builder. So if you're a Lego builder, you're following me, yes, you know what it is. But it's basically just a bunch of rock all the way around here. I'll get you guys a better view. I'm sorry. And see there's some there's some other pieces sticking out like this blue right here. Some of these pieces, kind of like the mixed yucky colors, they're all, as I call them, they're just there and I don't really appreciate them. So that's, I'm going to cover them up and the U-shaped part back here, as you can see that little U right there, is this. It's going to curve all the way around and it's going to cover this up. I will have a little room right here. Alright, so what's going to be right here is, if you remember in the movie, it's the armory, but since I have an armory right here with swords. I'm gonna build the feasting hall where they were mainly hiding during the battle where they retreated. Sorry spoilers. And then right here's the mine shaft. I haven't been too good with that but this is the mine shaft right here. Uh, it doesn't lead anywhere. It, it's not connected to anything. It's just there for detail. It's not from the movie at all. Um, I just have a couple complaints against the two towers. Like, don't get me wrong, The Two Towers is my favorite movie of all time. It's just, it's just some things were rushed for Helm Steep from my point of view. Don't take my point of view personally, I'm sorry. But uh, some things like could have been shown a lot better. So, like, um, here, oh, that fell, but that proves I need to work on some. But 
this is basically what's holding all of this up is a bunch of stacking technique where I'm just stacking random Lego bricks and tiles to fit my need and it kind of slides in. There it is. Oh, feisty one. See? And there it is. It just fits perfectly. Um, and then it's just being supported all the way around with these Technic pieces. So these are Technic pieces if you don't know. They're being held together by pins, these little, these little guys right here. And they're just being supported, uh, and they're just supporting each other, and being held from the sides, the top, and the bottom. So that's what makes this structure so strong. Um, I actually tested it. I put 20, 20 pounds of weight on top of this. I put a couple of my weights, and it supported it, and it didn't even flinch. So that proves it's strong. I estimate this alone is maybe a couple thousand bricks just holding this. So that proves I'm dedicated to, tr to structure. So this is going to be removable. So in case you didn't know, I'm going to be able to remove the top so that you all will be able to see like men holding the door, rushing with planks and all that fun stuff. Um, right here is going to be covered. That's why there's this right here for a little viewing area. Just a little fun, fun little thing to do. And just kind of flows well because with all these other uh, caves right here, it would be a little bit ugly to like just have a solid uh, wall like that right here. It, it, on this area, it just won't look good from my point of view. I would need another little opening, so I put an opening right there so you all could see. Right here is a little um, like last stand defense area where archers could line up and shoot at uh, enemies uh, brave enough to curve around this bend. Right here, I will make maybe a couple soldiers grabbing spears because this area is not seen. Like I said, it didn't show Helm's Deep well. So I'm making up some parts that were not really answered. Only other Lego builders could imagine what they could do. So yes, that's what's going on right here. Right here will just be like a little bit of rock flowing right here with a little cave. So that will look good. Not much going on up here, although I added some of these. I found them and I want to finish the wall up here so I can flow down into here. So the Hamburg, I am trying to find pieces for the spiral staircase. I know I've been saying that, that I will do, I will, and I'm sorry that I haven't done that, but Helm's Deep is looking great. It's making progress. It's been 22 weeks since the start of this, this guy. If you go, I'll put the link in the description, but if you just watch the first week, week one of building Helm's Deep, there's a spectacular difference. I remember it was sitting right in this position with a bunch of platforms, barely any bricks on it, and with pieces scattered all over the table, a lot more than this, thousands of pieces. 22 weeks later, we have a three-foot high tower, walls that are insanely high, and caves and detailed areas. So I'm proud of, I'm proud of how, it's, how it's gone. So some final details that I will explain are some... Or the or is this little like ravine or like river and it's basically just since it was raining during the time of home steep that's why I did just just for a little bit of fun and it adds some great detail to the model too it, it kind of like it doesn't like draw too much attention from the model it just draws enough that it needs so I enjoy it I will I'm still trying to figure out how to cover up this all these like pieces that don't really fit because they just don't, they kind of pop, and I don't, I don't like that. The reason that you may see updates that they're covered and they're not is because I don't like the way they looked. It's just me, I'm weird. Yes, let's go on. So there's also some I need to cover up over here, but the other detail was the snow right here. I was just going to add a little bit of snow for maybe just a little bit of a nice texture. So far it looks nice. Um, I don't have much complaints against it. I'm still able to lift lift up this little piece right here as you can see there's more of my stacking technique to see but um, I just have a lot of nice thoughts for this um, part so if you don't like it just say no in the comment section and the last thing is if I do get pieces for Helm's Deep right here will be the first place they will all go to 
So there will be like a little rock that goes down kind of like the side of a boulder with a little wall that extends out and uneven terrain covering up right here and right here. It will look legit. If you watch um, other videos of Helm's Deep or images on Google, this is what it will look like. The little wall that kind of extends to the left of it that is extremely long but it's not tall. This will just be a part of it right here. Uh, this is the entire Helm's Deep that I'm going to build so far. I'm not going to build too much um, like longer. That's going to be the main size because um, I won't have enough money to buy Urkai. It wouldn't look good if there were just like a couple of Urkai and a giant Helm's Deep. The Helm's Deep would be awesome, but the main thing about Helm's Deep that I'm building is because the battle was awesome. I, I have perfect battle positions for the main figs already. I've been planning it. I sketched it. I will show you guys the sketch in another video, but it looks awesome. I don't have much complaints against it. So thank you for watching this video of Jack Mox. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day, everyone.